Hello my online friends. Welcome to Rapid Hatchic Weekly Technical Teachings that are here to give you answers to questions that you might have thought about at some point while running your systems but may not have found direct answers anywhere. Well, my name is Iman Shu Chaudhry, your friend come guide on this online arena talking about the technological terms that you can understand easily. In the last video, we had discussed the great benefits of having your email account set up with the Microsoft Outlook. The email service that we configured for you all was with the Google account. After having set up Gmail on your Outlook, we are now going to show you how you configure your Yahoo Mails and Zoho Mails on that platform so that your other IDs can be a part of this tool and you can function with even more efficiency. If you have not had a chance to see the previous video, the link is in the description below. You can watch it from there. Although it is not necessary to see that one of the apply the actions of this video but just for the knowledge purpose. We wanted to share the previous one. Now coming to the business, let's get started on configuring more email accounts on your Microsoft Outlook account. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I need to open the browser. Whatever I'm using, I'm using my Chrome browser. Go on over there. I need to sign in with my Yahoo account because I'm already using Yahoo for a long time. So I just click on my mail.yahoo.com and you can sign up over there on the yahoo.com as well. I need to click on this account info. It will pop up a new window. And uh, if this window not appear, you need to sign in again with the same username and the password so you can use it up. And I need to click on this account security. First, I click on over there. There is a window came at the below of there. And then you can see the option with the name of this one, like app specific password. So what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to generate an app password. What I'm supposed to do, I'm get started. You can write the name as per your needs, like I'm using a Microsoft Outlook. So there you go, it's done. Now I'm going to copy this particular code and I'm going to paste it on Notepad. And there you go. Once it is done, I'm going to copy that and click on done. So this password is being saved in this section. Like if I'm supposed to click on here, you can see this has been done. So now what I'm going to do, I need to open my Microsoft Outlook. I need to go on control panel going to mail this option, mail Microsoft Outlook, go click on the show profiles and I need to add uh, because this is my official account so I won't uh, merge with that. I need to click on the add one and right here Yahoo Mails. Click on OK. So it will automatically create a new profile for me with the name of Yahoo Mails because all of my mails are going to sync in that particular, uh, that particular name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the manual setup Click on next, click on the POP, and then you can write the name you have on your Yahoo Mail. Uh, okay, write your email address because I have my Yahoo account, so I can get there. Uh, click on the IMAP options. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the Yahoo Mails, the IMAP, Internet Messaging Access Protocols, what kind of uh, the server they're using to, you know, incoming mails, what kind of server they're using. So it's imap.mail.yahoo.com and same as in the SMTP. I need to click on this paste and right here with SMTP. There you go. And uh, your username is already here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the password. The password should be this one because it's an app specific password. So you cannot use the same password. Okay. So I need to click on the more settings, click on the outgoing server. First, click on this option, go to the advanced and write whatever the ports number they're using. Well, they're using 993 and the encryption should be in SSL. And what about the SMTP? It's 465. Make sure they both should be in SSL encrypted and the port number should be 465. And once you're done, you need to click on OK and then click on the next one. So this is another option that just came because it need to recheck that this account will probably work on the same IMAP and SMTP mail servers or not. 
and once it is done it will show you your con congratulations all tests completely passed click close to continue so I need to click on close and there you go because now the thing is that you finally configure your Yahoo mail now click on OK and what I'm going to do I need to open my Microsoft Outlook so I'm going to open my Outlook and as you see it asked me the profiles first one second one I need to click on Yahoo Mails because that's my new one click on OK once it is done right now there is no mails so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on send and receive and press the first option click on here all the messages are being syncing at the moment because they're coming from the server officially from your Yahoo one so as you can see all the emails are being syncing from your account in your Yahoo account so what you are going to do you're going to use this method to make yourself safe from phishing, spamming, scanning and rest of the things that you can get rid from uh, this particular platform it is really helpful to block all such things which is not possible in uh, Yahoo Mails and uh, because if a random person is supposed to send you an email related to any malicious link then Outlook is going to help you out not to be in a part of this inbox rather than just come in your spam option it's a online protocol so this is really helpful for me so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on close because my already all the emails are being syncing here finally so I'm click on close now the next option is how we are supposed to go and configure our um, Zoho mails so Zoho mails is working similar manner I need to click on my Zoho account open using the same name and same password or maybe some other one if you have okay now what I'm going to do I need to click on my picture over here and I need to click on the my accounts for it will open a new window where I need to give my password for a re-verification once it confirm I need to click on the security there is option came with the app password I need to click in here click on the generate password so what's the app name app name is Microsoft sorry Microsoft Outlook and this is the password they generated I need to click on close and I just paste it over here there you go click on copy over there once and minimize it now you can also get the IMAP and uh, rest of the things from the Soho mails also how let me show you click on this one the settings came at the right side sidebar here you need to click on the mm, sorry mail account yes mail account so there are several options to configure your mails so I'm using IMAP as you can see your IMAP should be accessed this stick has to be enabled over there and once it is done you can use these things to configure your mails with the Outlook so I'm going to open once more my Microsoft Outlook click on the show profiles and add another one and right here Soho Mails click on OK so it will automatically done and created a profile with the name of Zoho Mails click on manual next pop up IMAP and write the name you have over there and uh, write your exactly mail ID and write the IMAP server and the SMTP port I'm sorry I am a P and SMTP sorry my bad and uh, I need to copy the password click on here more settings first option in the tunable and both should be SSL and now I'm going to give my 465 SMTP the port number from where the mail should be comes okay I you need to click on everything is checks out once you're done with everything click on the next and another pop-up window will come here and once it is going to be successfully done you can see how exactly it works okay see I got the congratulations message click on next as you can see we have all the information we need to set up the account click on finish now I have already created my three IDs here with the three different email addresses and three different platforms I need to click on done don't save cancel it I need to open again my outlook 
and there you go ask me again click on the zoho mail click on ok and same thing it is right now it is blank completely i need to go to the send and receive and send and receive all the folders and the syncing should become so similar like is it this way you can configure your any email id accounts but the most important thing in all of them is the generate app password because i mean uh, these all the platform consider ms outlook as a third party source so you can use the same email id and password for uh, logged in because if you have a 2fa enabled in your device then you are not using that because app specific password is basically used for or to configure your email id with the, all the third party sources and third party platforms so that was all a uh, wrap on today's video i hope you found this pretty useful see you in the next week with some more amazing insights and actions that make the use of your technology easier for you till then stay at home and stay safe thank you for watching this video